Okay, so this is my second Europa Universalis video because I recorded a video just before this where um, I didn't play the tutorial. My son wants me to do this game, um, and I played. I tried to play the game without playing the tutorial because he said the tutorial would be boring. Um, but I didn't know what to do, and I didn't actually do anything. Uh, I just sat there clicking random things, and I had no no clue what to do. Uh, I got peasant revolts and uh, everything like that, and I uh, I just died. Okay, so I'm gonna do the tutorial. I like I didn't die. I just couldn't do anything. I had no taxes. I was just borrowing money. People attacked me. Okay, yeah, I'll do the basic tutorial, and then you can see. Okay, initializing game. So this game is apparently very popular. So you can minimize this interface anytime I click the minimize button. To show it again, simply click the maximize button. So I don't know which button is the minimize or maximize button. Uh, this, I assume. If this, this should be higher than if it's pointed at that. Look at me, just critiquing the, the arrow placement. You can at any time pause again by pressing the spacebar button uh, or clicking the time control interface. Gotcha. You can speed up time, go back over here. Uh, or slow down the game. Unpause the game and wait until the 1st of January to continue. Are you sure you want to resign and return to the main menu? Uh, no, I don't. I don't think I clicked that. Uh, so unpause. So it's December, so I gotta wait. Who am I? Uh, there's a looming disaster. I have too few rivals. Okay. When you pause Europa Universalis 4, you can keep playing by issuing orders and take control of the situation. In peacetime, you may want to speed up time, while in wartime, you may want to slow it down. Okay. You can use your mouse pointer to move the camera by moving it either to the top bottom of the screen, you can also use the arrow, crow, uh, arrow blah, blah, blah. I can use the scroll wheel to zoom. Gotcha. Mini map. You need to change your zoom to get a better view of the world. You can zoom out. Uh, yeah. To continue, you must zoom out so you can see all of Europe. Okay, no. I don't want to. Oh, I, I was supposed to zoom out and I exited that section. Look, I can see all of Europe now. Ah ha ha. Now that you have zoomed out, try zooming in. Okay. Do I, uh, can I just use my mouse? Why is it telling me? Where am I going? Who am I? Okay. Let's see if you understand how you can use the camera to Try finding certain problems by moving the camera and zooming in and out. Follow the arrow until you find the province. Okay. Oh, 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 I see. Zoom out. Now zoom in. Look at the Scots. Who's this? Aberdeen. I gotcha. Oh. You have now learned how to control the camera. In your next chapter, we learn how about controlling armies and fleets. Yeah. Rebels have taken over the province of Pale. You must defeat them. Select the army station in London in the London promise by clicking on it or holding the left mouse button and dragging the selection box over the army. Grabbed it. Now that you have selected the army, right click on any province to move it. I want... To, oh! Right click? That's how you move things. I was left clicking all the time in the previous tutorial. Oh! Well, so I was trying to move my army in the previous game and I couldn't move my army because I was left clicking. Now that you have selected the army, uh, remember to unpause the game. Ho oh, oh, I had forgotten. So I can issue orders, uh, but I have to unpause while well, pause. But I gotta, I have to pause it, unpause it, in order to send them. Now that you have selected the army, right click on any province to move it there. Go, go to pale. Oh, uh, no. Uh, go to pale. You first need to go to. Grenade, have the army selected and right click on grenade, then unpause the game so that. What? You'll need to transport your army to pale by boat. Uh, click attach to transport button. Sorry, what ha I don't know what happened there. I think I did that already. You'll need to transport your army to pale by boat. Click on attach to transport. Attach to transport button to load the army into ships at uh, Gwynedd's port. When a transport ship that has units attached to it leaves the harbor, the units will be embarked on the ship. Okay. Your troops are now attached to the Roy. I gotta zoom in here. It's, I think it wants me to zoom in. 
Your troops are now attached to the Royal Navy in Port uh, Gwynedd. I don't know how to pronounce that. That's like that. That's got to be Welsh, and I don't know how to pronounce that, so I apologize. Uh, I gotta use these mouse. Uh, your troops are now attached to the Royal Navy in Port Gwynedd. Gwynedd? Maybe the G's silent. I don't know. If you're Welsh, uh, let me know what I'm doing wrong here. To transport your troops across the Irish Sea, you need to select the fleet by clicking on it or dragging the selection box over it. Is this the fleet? Yes. So I want you, you where, oh, this is telling me where to go. The Isle of Man? Or no, why would it? Okay, go to Ulster. Go to the Isle of Man? Yes, aha. To disembark your troops, have the fleet. Uh, hmm. I don't think I want to disembark them. I think I'm supposed to go here. Or why are there all these arrows? To disembark your troops, have the fleet selected and then click transport button. Split in half. Hmm. Uh, 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 uh. Do I want these? Is this my army? I think I want them on the ship though. Detach from transport. No. Attach to transport. Yeah. Now that your army is selected, right click on the Pale Province where the rebels are in order to order your troops to disembark. This is Pale. I can't right click on it though. I don't know what's happening. So I'd have to click on this. Okay. Uh, right click. Right click. Single click. Uh, now that your army is selected, right click on the pale province where the rebels are. I see pale. Why did I go to the Isle of Man first? Okay, can this detach? I don't want to detach from the transport. I want to send. It's, I'm not paused, so time is happening. What if I paused it? Go. I can't click on any of these things. Click. Right click on pale. I am right clicking. Oh, you have to click on the ocean first? Oh, this is my son doing it. Just... Why did I have why did you have to go out to the ocean? In order to first send them. It didn't say that. Now that your army is selected. Oh, this is the arrow that shows the movement. Okay. It's paused now. Your army is now fighting the rebels in pale. When the battle is over, you will have to besiege the province because it has been taken over by the rebels. The battle window will appear whenever you have selected an army that is engaged in battle. Remember to unpause the game. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, I, I can't keep this this window straight. I gotta use not the, the, the mouse. It just gets stuck there. You have defeated the rebels on the battlefield, but the city is still under rebel control. Your army is besieging Pale, and it will take some time before the defenders will surrender. The time it takes to perform certain actions, such as sieging, has been reduced in this tutorial during a regular game. Okay. Uh... Reconquer pale to continue. Okay. Yeah. Are you besieging it? Do I have to press a button to siege? Detach siege. No, I don't want to detach. Oh, they surrendered. Victory. You have defeated the rebels and recaptured pale. You have completed chapter two of the tutorial. <laughs> the next chapter, you will learn about production. I don't know if I have completed it, frankly. In this chapter, you will learn about recruiting regiments, building ships, and constructing buildings. All production takes place in a province. Click on the London in the map to continue. Boom. Each province is different, has different economic or military values, depending on such things as base tax, trade power, strategic location, or what kind of trade goods they produce. You will learn more about these values later. Provinces where all unit production takes place provinces are where all unit production takes place you can recruit regiments build ships and hire mercenaries click on next to continue what if i just hit enter no armies consist of regiments that can be of three different types infantry cavalry or artillery each regiment has a thousand shoulders click the recruit uh button to use. in the recruit regiment window you will see a list of all units available for recruitment recruiting a regiment will cost you a thousand 
manpower in addition to ducats. Uh, manpower is an important resource that will regenerate over time. Without sufficient manpower, you cannot train new armies or reinforce existing ones. You can see your manpower in the... Oh, it's a scroll. See? Don't scroll. In, in the... Uh, 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 without sufficient manpower, you cannot train armies or reinforce existing You cannot see your manpower in the top left of the screen. Oh, up here. See? This whole scroll scrolling magoo, I don't like. Recruit regiments in London. Uh, so, my son is telling me I have to do this. Is that what I did? You can build ships by selecting a coastal province and clicking the build ships button. There are four different types of ships, heavy ships, light ships, galleys, and transports. Click the back button. Click back to go back to the province view and then click on the build ship. Back. Uh-huh. Then click on the build ships button. Oh. So my son is actually pointing out the different buttons because I don't know what they are. Heavy ships are large warships that excel in combat. Light ships are faster ships that protect you. Use to protect your trade, but are also useful for exploration. Uh... Lastly, there are also transport ships to ferry your troops over water. Build any ship in London. I want to build uh, the, uh, this cheap one here. Is it doing it? There are one units in the queue. Buildings can be constructed to make... Uh, oh, man. Buildings can be constructed to make improvements to provinces. Improvements can vary from increased tax to tax income to more powerful forts to increasing trade. Constructing buildings is vital for strengthening your economic military power. Open the buildings tab to continue. Ahaha! Ha. That's in the right spot, Mr. Arrow. Buildings are categorized in different... Did I read this already? Some buildings with the same category will replace others and are marked by yellow arrows, while others, such as the university, can be built independently of others. Construct any building. Uh, okay, so this... I have a building here. This is an empty building. Uh, I'd like to increase my trade. Are you telling me I have to click on this? No, you're not. You're just still there. Are you sure you want to build marketplace? Uh, I have a hundred. I have like three thousand dollars. So yeah, build that. There are two different queues for production in a province. The unit queue allows you to either build a ship or recruit a regiment. You can also queue buildings. The building queue allows you to either construct a building, make a core. Make core. I don't know what that means. Convert. Make core. Huh. Convert religion or change culture. I'd prefer a comma here. Right here. An Oxford comma. Uh, <laughs> each of the two keys can do one thing. So I like Oxford commas. Uh, an empire grows larger becomes more. Uh, as an empire grows larger, it becomes. I want to skip all this text as part of the problem, but I'm trying to force myself to read it. The production interface will help you with constructing large amounts of buildings or training troops. Selecting a building from the list will update the map mode. Map mode with information regarding where you can get the most benefit. Click the top left of the screen. Aha, uh -huh. don't scroll. Ah, oh, select a unit from the list and then click on the map to start production. Oh, like what do I want to produce? Um. Uh, Start production of five different provinces, and then remember to um, yeah, don't forget to unpause the game. Okay, so uh, did that do something? Select. What does that do? Is that is that build it in this? Like okay. Uh, Shev. Sh Chevauche? Chevauche? Yeah, I want, well, can I do it twice in London? Oh, so, I, so this is... I want some of these guys because they're more expensive. I want them in Essex especially. And I want some additional ones in London. In London town. And Hampshire. Oh, I gotta unpause the game. See, I forgot. My son reminded me. What if I did just a few more just to spend some cash? I got a lot of cash. Oh, Army Force Limits. Uh, in Kent? What is this? I don't 
don't know what that I don't know what that means. Yeah, it's unpaused. So there's something red here. My son is highlighting it, and I don't know what it means. I think it's I think I did it anyways. This this concludes chapter three production. Next chapter you'll learn about war. I didn't learn that much about production. Uh, I don't know what to do. Uh Okay, I got a note from my wife that I need to make coffee. Um, okay, I'm going to pause this video for a second, and then I'm going to go make coffee. Okay, I'm back after having paused the game now. Made some coffee. This arrow. I don't like the... Why is it scrolling? I'm trying to zoom. Oh, I guess I was all zoomed in. Okay. Okay. I... So the thing about this is that this is not my style of game. I know some people really like this sort of stuff. I'm just more of a like 2D side-scrolling Mario Goomba type of fella. This sort of stuff is um, it's too much reading for me. I like to read, but uh, I just like to play. I don't have a lot of time. Okay, declare war. When you declare war on a target, you want to have a casus belli. So this is the Latin on them, uh, uh, some some sort of a cause, cause. If you don't have a casus belli or justification war, you will suffer negative effects from declaring war on them. That's so strange. Click on the uh, Leinster province, then click on diplomacy and decle select declare war. Select the conquest casus belli with take Leinster as the war goal and then click on declare war. Okay, so we'll show them, no, click on do I, I guess I have to uh, get rid of that first. So, is this them? Okay. La, Lachin Leinster. So, click on it. Okay. Yeah. Um, click on the Leinster province and click on Diplomacy. Aha, I see you, Diplomacy. Yes. Then click Declare War. Yes. Uh, select no select the conquest Cassius belly with take Lannister. Where is the conquest Cassius belly? Nope. So click declare war. Uh, Click diplomacy and then click declare war. Select the conquest. I don't have a conquest. No cautious belly. Yeah. But it tells me that I should select it. But uh, some of your navies are out of port. Do I have to bring him? Um, do I want to bring my navies into port? Um, oh, sorry. Select the conquest. Uh, my son tells me that I won't get it until I unpause. Okay, well, that's weird. Oh. Okay. Click on them. I don't have a cautious belly. Uh, okay, I'll go back to diplomacy. Declare war. Ah, ha ha! Now, I don't know why it wasn't there before. I clicked on it. Confirm. Move your troops into uh, Leinster province to engage their enemy. You must also besiege and occupy their province before you can continue. If you want to bring all your troops, you'll have to ferry them over and merge them into one. Remember to unpause the game. Okay. So, let me zoom out. I think I have some troops where... I don't know what you're doing. I wish... Can I remap... I wonder if I could remap the keys so that I can use... Maybe I'll move the, my keyboard over. I just have to reach over. So, uh, are these my troops here? Or do I... What about all these guys? I made these troops. I'm in uh, these Chevalier. Chevalier... I, it's like, oh, uh, or, that's not the name. Chevauche? Chevauche? Can I just move it over here? Okay. What? Okay. So, Chevauches. To me. 
I'm going to select all of these. Look at this interface. And can I just say, just head here? Oh, I can. Okay, you... I want you up here. <laughs> no, you. From Dorset. I'm going to send you... <laughs> I want you to head, head over to Carcassonne. Why not? You do not have military access here. I have to ask them first? No. Okay. Okay, can I send you to Aberdeen? No. Okay. Then I'm just going to send him up here. Just him. Yeah. I'm going to watch for Northumberland because I don't trust some of them. Did that cancel my other moves? No, these my chevauches are moving. What's this guy doing? Hampshire's 2nd Regiment. I want you to head over here. Everybody, yeah, go. Uh, that leaves me... It seems like it leaves me pretty undefended. But, uh... Remember to unpause the game. I did. You know what? I'm gonna send this guy back. This guy. I don't want you there anymore. Back to London Town. Yeah. Dangerous. Oh! Battle's happening. I think I'm guaranteed to win this. I have like a million troops. I don't really know that. Supply shortage. Uh, supply shortage. Well, looming disaster. Rebels impossible. Uh, disease outbreak. Supply sh shortage. What's this? Do we need to go there? Do I just let this play? Show provinces, select army. Can I give them something? Water shortage. Move your trips, engage their army. You must also besiege and occupy their province. I can't tell if I'm winning. Okay. Supply, the, the, is it because it's winter? Is that why the map changed? Oh, it's like snowing. Huh, I get it. Okay. Um, disease outbreak. I'm not. I. I. Oh, something happened. Sue for peace. To demand tribute in a peace deal requires you to have a certain amount of war score. The war goal reduces the war score cost of that province by fifty percent. Having a claim on a province reduces the cost of diplomatic power by fifty percent. Click on the Lancaster province and click diplomacy and sue for peace. I got this. Click here. Diplomacy, sue for peace. I, why do I have to sue for peace? Um, remember to unpause the game. So what do I do? Demand tribute. I want... I want treaties. No, I want your province. Yeah, I want, I want the whole thing. Um, I'll give you a little bit of money. Lancer. Oh, I don't want them to pay two ducats. No, I just want your land. England suffers a base one point aggression. Okay. With the reconquest. Yeah, sure. See, I get, I get, um, I gotta unpause it. Don't I get, I get frustrated by the the time. I'm just, I there's so much to read. When a war ends, your two nations will have a truce, unless you annex them because they no longer exist. I think I annex them. You can see which countries you now have a truce with, and when they expire by lowering them, by hovering the mouse over the truce alert. Attacking someone who you have a truce with will incur a severe penalty to stability and is not recommended. Okay. This concludes the basic tutorial. You can replay the tutorial at any time. Click exit to go back to the tutorial menu. Well. Okay, I think I've got this game. Uh, I think I know exactly how to play this game. I don't really know how to play this game, frankly. I still feel... Can I attack these guys? No. No, see? No, I can't. I have to click on them. Click on Diplomacy. Click Declare War. You know what? I don't care if I have a cautious belly this time. No, I'm just kidding, because the tutorial's over. So I declared war. Uh, you won't... And then I'm going to go here. There are three more tutorials, my son tells me. But uh, do I have to do them all? So, here. I'm going to post this video online. 
And if you think I should do the other tutorials, let me know. Uh, otherwise, I'll record another video of me failing to play this game. Uh, my son, again, my son, I, this was in the first video, so it wasn't in this video, but my son loves this game, and he wants me to play it, and I, he wants me to enjoy it. So I'm trying. I'm just not very good at it. There, look. Oh, I can select them all. Yeah, go in. Everybody. Does it, if I bring in more armies... So, I, do I have to sue for peace? Did I win? How do I know if I won? Shh. Oh, I can't. Oh, it's it's like it's on fire now. Oh, so this is how the war happens every single time. You go through this whole process. Um, I have 4,385 gold ducats. In my last video, I was negative all the, the entire time. So. Oh, so... What if I, can I, so my son, I think you can explore, like, head to Nor Norway. Reykjavik, Norway, that's interesting. How far can you go in this map? I wonder if you can explore. It doesn't like this scroll. That's kind of neat. Now my zooming is very slow. Anyways, if you want me to redo a, do, to do a tutorial, oh, zoom in. Can I hold control to make this faster? Oh, yeah. Nope, something happened. I don't know if I won or not. Let's see. I can't I can't sue for peace, so I don't I think the battle's still happening. So what's this thing? The War of English Aggression? I don't like that name. Oh this is how I so my son is showing me this. War of the Roses. Uh York. Okay, that's it. I don't know the War of English Aggression. More like the War of Ormond Aggression. A war score. Ooh, 9% because I have no cautious belly. Well, I think I won. So, okay. So if you want me to do the other... Uh, if you like this video, if you like this game, and you want me to not be terrible at it, uh, tell me to... to, to to play the other tutorials. Otherwise, I still I still don't really know what you do. I kind of have a better idea. I gotta say, after playing the tutorial, than I did um, not playing the tutorial, because when I didn't play the tutorial, it just kept it kept yelling at me about all these things, and I didn't really know I didn't know what to do. I had I had no concept of anything. So this I at least know how to move the troops because I kept clicking, and then I would click over here and it wouldn't work. Now I know you right click and then they move, which is which is helpful. Because I think I, I lost. I lost. I'm going to disband this army, though. Yeah. Yep. Have fun, everybody. We don't need a standing army anymore. Um, oh, these are good ones. I think. Anyways. Anyways, this is, I'm going to end this video because I'm just getting confused again. Um, but if you want me to do the other tutorials, let me know. Oh, so I have all this stuff here that I don't know about. Okay, that's it.